is called a wildebeest or white bearded gnu. We call it the clown of the plains and others call it the stupid one. And by we, I want to refer to tour guides. Those are the people who have been interacting with these animals over time. Call them the clowns of the plains. That I would understand. It could be a fitting description of his profile. He respectfully looks like he was made from leftovers from different animals. A little manes from a horse. The long front legs of a hyena, a nose of a pig, the stupid one, well, I have my reservations. Wildebeets are one of the most brilliant animals in the plains. Every year, over 1.6 million wildebeests escorted by hundreds of thousands of other grazers trek more than 2,800 kilometers round trip from Serengeti Plains in Tanzania to Masai Mara in Kenya and back. This epic migration has been described as the greatest wildlife spectacle on earth, which has made Masai Mara in Kenya the preferred holiday destination by wildlife and nature enthusiasts, research scientists and professional photographers. A question though, why do they do that? Why do they migrate? Why don't they just stay in their natural home range in the Serengeti Plains? The answer is very simple. They want to be where their food is. They are masters of survival. Their journey begins at birth, and so does nature's greatest wisdom starts to show. Within the first two weeks of the month of February, over 400,000 calves are born. The mothers do it in synchronized manner. When one starts labor, the next neighbor is excited into labor as well, even if the dates are not yet due. And the action becomes infectious to the rest of the herd, and calves drop like rain in the wilderness. Reason to do this is to beat the hungry predators by supplying as much food as possible over the shortest time. Most predators kill only what they can eat at a given time. Since it takes three to four days before hunting again, most wildebeest calves will already be fast enough to outrun the predators. Does that sound like a stupid animal? I highly doubt. They always know where food is to be found and when and nothing stops them from getting there. Obstacles present themselves in different ways. All manner of predators await them along the migration route. The final obstruction stands on their way to the land of milk and honey. They have to cross Mara River. It is the final test of will and determination for the so-called clowns of the plains. But they conquer that in style. They know where to cross to avoid the crocodiles. A rocky area For a fast flowing section of the river. And if the push comes to a shove, they simply plough through the river by sheer force of numbers. 
naturally, there will be sacrifices along the way. employ the wisdom of nature in order to remain alive and healthy. That's a wildebeest for you. Clown of the plains, yes, but stupid? I leave that for you to decide.